So we are in the final round of voting for the theme of Ludum Dare number 50. So one of these, one of these will be the theme for Ludum Dare number 50. In preparation for tomorrow, when the theme is announced, I'm going to try and uh, come up with some quick ideas for games with these 16 themes into Photoshop. Let's do a new, let's do, what should I do? 2560, 2560 by 2560. And then I'm going to divide it into SIG 40. There you go. So our first theme, let's lay this out on the grid in Excel. Right. So, 16 possible themes. Uh, so, number one, delay the inevitable. So, the first thought on this was um, something more sort of terror related, like you've slipped and fallen off a cliff and then you're falling in bullet time, but I thought that would be a bit dark. So, uh, something less dark is um, potential financial Armageddon, yet again. So, uh, the. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how this would work, but probably some kind of um, Bloomberg terminal kind of simulation of uh, trying to manipulate the market <laughs> and and keep that bottom line up and keep those uh, keep those portfolios doing well. Um, yeah, fragile. Um, it's probably be more than a two day build, I guess, but like a physics based sort of tower assembly thing where you have a template to build the tower to. You have a number of blocks you can build the tower with. You're building it on a moving base that then you have to get across uneven ground to a particular spot to then have it fit into that template. Um, and that would be uh, a challenge. I don't know about if it fits the fragile thing. But um, uh, I don't know. Less obvious, I guess. That's not blue. Why is it not blue? Ugh, okay. Um, make connections. This could be quite cool. Basically an idle sort of game with turns or something, I guess, where you just pick a list of stations and uh, tube routes to take and then uh, let it play out and then see what happens and try and get a good time on, you know, a particular route. 
from one place to another. Mutation. Um, I've got a four-year-old who plays this game called Red Ball, which is basically like a physics-based puzzle game. And I could do a version of that, but then it becomes more horrific and uh, terror-inducing as each round progresses, as you grow a new tentacle or claw or something. Um, akin to this, there is a game, I can't remember the name of it right now, where you are like a sort of horrific meat meat beast thing. Uh, moving on. Teleportation. So this is completely ripping off um, Unreal Tournament, if anyone remembers that from back in, back in the day. Uh, so yeah, you'd basically be a, like a 2D platformer, and then you'd have a basically a physics-based puck thing you fire from a weapon with some ballistics. Um, it'd be small enough to fit through holes you couldn't fit through, and then you could teleport to particular spots or you know have it interact with things like moving platforms and whatever else, um, and then teleport to that spot. So yeah, that that was like a big feature in yeah. In a game called Unreal Tournament back in the day, and uh, yeah, I have no idea about this one. Moving swiftly on, folklore could be cool. Um, there's some stuff in English folklore I quite like, like the Willow the Wisp, which is like a, a spooky sort of uh, glowing light thing that appears over bogs and marshes and stuff, and uh, no one really knows what it is, but they think it's something like the souls of the dead. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the mechanic would be, but maybe like the TV show back in the 80s, you'd basically, you'd go up against, uh, TVs that were witches or something, I don't know. Um, this could be a cool one, you're a pigeon with an umbrella that's, um, slowly disintegrating, just like the original, um, asteroids, uh, you, the acid rain sort of eats away at everything and maybe you hide under phone boxes and bus shelves and stuff I have no idea um, infestation another physics based thing you're a vacuum cleaner with a physics based hose thing that sort of kind of follows around I guess um, and then you try and suck up bees or something I don't know uh, not inspired by this at all I don't even know but um, yeah Maybe driving through the Nevada desert, avoiding imaginary bats. Uh, tunnels, eh, I don't know. Uh, just digging under a river and trying not to flood it. Having limited resources like uh, lemmings or something, where you can only dig a certain amount of uh, space out or something. Uh, not really inspiring. This one is, I guess, because the idea of this one could be cool where you have like a a normal platform level but then you have something like a chainsaw or a weed whacker or something and then you with your limited fuel you have to selectively cut away the foliage to be able to see the platforms or something that could be quite cool um, yep the vending machine that's out of order it'd be physics based it'd be like a big sort of lump you had to throw around and then uh, extract that last uh, Coke can or chocolate bar or something. That could be a fun thing to do. Um, this could be an interesting concept if you have like a basically a ragdoll cat made of like meta balls, and they're all sort of connected in a physics chain. And then you have various uh, receptacles like cardboard boxes and stuff you have to kind of mush the cat into and be able to close. I guess I don't know. That could be quite challenging. Um, yeah, ran out of ideas in this one, and then I realised that I already had done a game previously for Ludendari Forty Nine. I think it was the the Go Deeper one. I think the one with the cat. No, um, but yeah, mixing colours maybe not. I think that's been done before, but maybe something with ammo, like ammo types. We have like bouncing ammo, sticky ammo, explosive ammo magnetic ammo or something, I don't know, you'd have a, a bunch of different properties and then you could combine things to make different things to then handle different situations, fight different enemies, I don't know. And then finally, this one, um, uh, like my dad is always chucking his, uh, and he finds a snail in the garden, he sends it on a, on a sort of trajectory over to the nearest garden. Um, but the idea here is you are in your back garden, you're getting rid of your snails. 
you're waiting to your neighbour in the adjacent garden till his back is turned, then you fling the snails over the fence, like tennis, I guess, into his garden. Hope he doesn't notice and send them back your way. So, uh, yeah, that's that's that. I think that's yep, yeah, that's sixteen. So, uh, oh, I guess I'll post this. Okie dokie, well, that was that. Like and subscribe and stuff. And uh, if I, uh, I'm trying really hard to uh, get to a million subscribers. So uh, if um, 999,900 and something can uh, subscribe, that would uh, that would be great. I've put the link to Ludum Dare in the description there. So you can go check it out if you are a, uh, a, a game developer person who would be interested in doing that kind of stuff. It's um, two days starting this weekend to uh, to build something um, in whatever your favourite tool is. So it could be like Unity Engine, Unreal, JavaScript, my whatever. Um, stuff like that. So yeah.